Far Best Theater has been a staple to the Mansfield, Texas community for over a hundred years. But there's more than just memories of old performances and movie matinees attached to this place. Once you step inside, you can just tell it's not like other buildings. You want those lights on as soon as possible. For decades, rumors of strange, ghostly occurrences have surrounded this century-old theater. So in October of 2018, we assembled a small team to spend the night in the Far Best to investigate these claims and legends. What we found changed the way we looked at this quaint Mansfield landmark. We began our ghost hunt by each walking the theater individually. While we didn't find anything paranormal, we had our share of frights. Oh! Whoa! What? Is there something in the stairwell? That's exactly what I thought. Something like around the corner, peeking around the corner. Right now? The, no, there was. That's the energy that surrounds you at the far best. Every shadow, every squeak startles you. You can't help but be on edge. After making the rounds, we settled in for the investigation, focusing on the item that supposedly started the hauntings. The stories go that this bar was donated from an old Irish pub, and it brought spirits with it. Using the EMF detector, a device that measures electromagnetism, which some say can signal the presence of ghosts, we began to ask questions. At first, nothing happened. But then our questions seemed to begin getting intelligent answers based upon the readings of the EMF. Do you know how to play any instruments? <gasps> it, okay, so you do know how to play an instrument. So, let's see, what do you play then? The drums? So it's the drums. Then something happened that blew our minds. You've been getting a lot better. Give us a light up all the way to red. All the way to red. Just give us a red. Give us a running start. Give it all the way to red. Just bang on it like a drum. Can you play the drums for us? Oh, he's tr he's trying. Did you see that? It, it, oh, it's lighting up. Oh, look at it. It's playing the drums. It's playing the drums. On command, the device began lighting up in a rhythmic fashion, almost as though someone was indeed banging away on a drum solo. Can you play the drums for us? Oh, he's tr he's trying. Did you see that? It, it, oh, it's lighting up. Oh, look at it. It's playing the drums. What reinforced this EMF communication encounter more than anything else was that as soon as we had started receiving answers, they stopped. Are you still here? That's the audio recorder. I moved it down here so we could have a better conversation. But I don't think he's here anymore. I'm not feeling any vibes. No, I, said, I don't feel any vibes, and he. This is not. This is not so much as as tickled. Nothing else had changed in the environment around us to explain the EMF lighting up. What was clear, though, is that the encounter had us on edge, and every noise made us jump. Just this event. What? Oh, dang it! You know the little hanging chain things you pull. <laughs> hit my head on that thing. Uh, so I feel a little graze and hear ching, 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 ching. Oh. But if we thought our nerves had been excited, we hadn't seen anything yet. The night was about to get wild. It started with an EVP session. EVPs are electronic voice phenomena. That's when a recorder is able to pick up sounds or voices that our ears can't hear. While the session was going on, a series of low-light photos were being taken. All of them showed the same dark image with the investigator visible to the side. Except one. I caught something, Kevin. One photo showed this. It's hard to see at first, but with a little enhancing, you can see what distinctly looks like a figure of some kind, standing off to the investigator's right. Legs, torso, and a ghastly face. You might dismiss this as a simple blur, or something being lit up in the darkness, but no other picture shows anything even close to this. Shortly after this photo was taken, we thought we heard a sound like one of the seats in the theater being moved. So we went on a search and discovered this. Did you just... What? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no! No, 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 no! no. Oh, I've got shivers all over. I do too. 
Unfortunately, we never got a clear shot beforehand to prove that this chair had been up before. But you can see us walk by the exact spot several times and seemingly everything was fine. Either we blatantly missed it or something moved it when we weren't looking. By now the tempo was picking up and the EMF device was again yielding answers. It appeared as though we were talking to the same drummer as before. We tried to deduce the name of the band by going letter by letter, looking for a response. Is the, what's the first letter of it? A is the first letter B? F G G Second letter. So we have a G at the beginning. Second letter. A B The B we already know that's not a word, so... The answer seemed nonsensical, and we automatically assumed that we were getting nowhere. Then we did a quick internet search for the term GB as it relates to music. Okay, um, here's something else. GB is a common designation for bands that can pretty much play anything. You have to be able to sight read and lead sheet and make it sound like something. Before GB, they were called society bands. So you guys can play anything? You guys are a GB band. It lit up when you started describing what a GB was. Around the same time we discovered this astonishing coincidence, the energy in the building shot up like a spike. Using another device that measures electromagnetism, which had been quiet the entire night, we began detecting energy in every single seat in the theater, as though a packed house had suddenly assembled to hear the band. Are they moving? Are you guys moving around on the stage? What the heck, she dude? Put that thing on me. Why is it doing it? Hello? I, I'm following it from over here. Over here. It's left here. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. And I followed it right over here in between us. It passed between us. CB9? Is that someone right there? Is that one of your people right there? Nope. Now the whole dang place is lighting up. I don't understand this. It was all building to a crescendo before the grand finale. Going back to the EMF detector to ask some more questions, something came through that sent chills down our spines. Something that was more than just a few flashing lights. Is that somebody's stomach? Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. I just... Are you sure it's not somebody's stomach? That was a growl you heard? Yes. That was not my stomach. Was that was from over here. There's a growl. What? I just heard... No, no, I heard that too. Really? I heard two distinct growls. Two distinct growls could be heard, and even picked up on one of our cameras. I just... I just... I just... I just... As if trying to confirm our own thoughts, the EMF detector gave us one last strong answer after minutes of sitting with nothing. Did you hear a growl? It did. With that last piece of evidence, we began to wrap up our investigation. So what did we learn? Maybe the answers that came across the EMF detector were just coincidence. Maybe we flipped the chair down and forgot. Maybe the noises we heard were just an old building settling, and maybe the figure caught on camera is just a trick of the light. Maybe. Just spend a dark night inside the far best theater yourself sometime, and see what you believe.